Our goal in this problem is to see if the crate will slide down the 20 degree incline if the coefficient of static friction is 0.65. What we are going to solve for is the minimum coefficient of static friction required to keep the cart at rest at this angle. First we will draw the force triangle for the weight of the blocks. The x component of the weight will be the force that causes the object to slide down the plane. The y component of the weight is the force that holds the crate down. We see that the angle of our force triangle is 70 degrees. Next we rewrite Wx as mg cosine 70 and Wy as mg sine 70. You will see later how we can solve for the coefficient of static friction between the plane and the crate without knowing the crate's mass. These components will be included in the crate's free body diagram. We also include the normal force, which acts perpendicular to the plane, and the force of static friction, which points opposite the direction of motion. So in this problem it points up the plane. Here are the three equations we need to solve friction problems. Our goal is to find mu s. To solve for it, both the force of static friction and the normal force need to be found. First, we will find the force of static friction. We input what we know. The acceleration is zero because our goal is to see if the angle is enough to make it slide. Here is the magnitude of the force in terms of mass and gravity. Next, we will find the normal force. The vertical acceleration is also zero and we can find the normal force in terms of mass and gravity. We plug in the values we solve for. Notice in the equation that both the numerator and the denominator contain mass and gravity. They can both be canceled out. This leaves us with the coefficient of static friction equaling the ratio between cosine 70 and the sine of 70. The coefficient of friction created by an angle of 20 degrees is 0 0.36. Since the coefficient is 0 0.65, 20 degrees is not enough slope to get the crate sliding. 